Go, 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 go. That shit about these tires are not hurt me. Go. Que el coche, que el agua se lo lleva. Mira la casa de enfrente. Es un puto desastre. Mira esto. Mira esto. Madre mía, mira esto. Un torrente. During 2018, Italy, Greece, Spain and France were hit by extreme weather and climate-induced events that caused injury and death. These events also caused significant damage to property and critical infrastructure, giving rise to huge economic losses. Unfortunately, it appears that these events are not isolated cases in Europe. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Future climate change projections predict even greater impacts as a result of an increased frequency and magnitude of such episodes in the future. So what measures can be taken to reduce, as far as possible, the damage likely to affect our society? The Anywhere Project aims to empower exposed responder institutions and citizens to enhance their anticipation and proactive capacity of response to face these situations. One approach focuses on assisting the population with self-preparedness and self-protection tools for specific situations, such as thunderstorms affecting electricity grids, logistic distribution platforms ahead of severe snowfall, or schools and campsites located in flood-prone areas. The project also pursues the development of a pan-European multi-hazard platform for faster analysis and anticipation of weather-induced risks prior to the occurrence of an event. This is being achieved by capitalising the advanced forecasting methodologies and impact models developed over the last decade. All the forecasting capabilities are gathered into the Anywhere catalogue, which includes about 300 algorithms and products sorted by hazard type. Then, in case uh, a fire starts, uh, we propose another uh, product that uh, is uh, able to provide uh, in a few minutes uh, the, the fire risk scenario in, in, uh, in terms of probability of the of the area that will be burned by the fire. Several places in Europe are affected by the hazards triggered by precipitation. For instance, um, the flooding caused by large rivers or uh, torrential phenomena caused by intense precipitation in uh, mountainous areas uh, such as flash floods or uh, landslides and debris. This family of uh, products uh, deal with uh, marine storms. During a marine storm, we have the combined effects of waves and tides and atmospheric forcing. This type of products will produce a warning uh, regarding an incoming storm and uh, predict the total water level that will be generated during the storm. So we are actually focusing on long-term long-term forecasts 
and that's the minimum is, is, is a couple of weeks to a month, up to seven months we use in, in anywhere. The snow load product has been used in the Finnish Meteorological Institute for estimating the uh, accumulated snow load on trees and uh, transmission lines and it has been used to uh, investigate in what kind of locations or regions in Finland there is going to be a crisis uh, because the snow load breaks the tree branches or the falls the trees or the trees falls on the electricity lines and cause electricity outbreaks. The operational platform has been deployed in the public protection and disaster relief control centers of six pilot sites to support decision-making processes during weather-induced emergencies in real situations. Liguria, Italy, South Savo, Finland, Bern Canton, Swiss Alps, Rogaland, Norway, Corsica, France and Catalonia, Spain. The platform has been locally customised to the needs and requirements of every location and which represent different climatic scenarios around Europe. The operational staff of every pilot site are currently testing the platform to validate its functionality prior to being transferred to the fully operational system. The Anywhere demonstrations are a remarkable opportunity. We have a full one year in front of us to work together with the emergency managers to test and validate the tools in order to improve them and adapt them to the real operational necessities. This interaction will contribute to obtaining a powerful decision-making support tool to better manage high-impact weather-induced emergencies regardless of location. At the end of this period, it is expected that this tool will be available to any potentially interested emergency management authority anywhere in Europe.